I just landed after uh, doing an all-night shift. This uh, might be my last flight for quite some time. Hey everyone, welcome to Go Midwest Fishing. My name's Randy. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, for those of you who watch the show know that I normally make fishing videos, but to support my family, I fly airplanes. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of an inside look at what it's like at the airlines right now with the whole coronavirus uh, pandemic going on. Uh, first of all, I got to say over the last two to three weeks, I've noticed a sharp decline in uh, passenger loads. In fact, right now it's uh, pretty much average to have, you know, single digit passenger loads. You know, if you get in the 20s, that's a pretty big load right now. Uh, a couple things the airlines are doing is once you're in your seat, they're allowing you to get up and spread out since there's hardly anyone on the airplane anyway. Uh, they're letting you kind of just pick your own seat and, uh, you know, do your social distancing. Um, we're also trying to sanitize a lot more, stocking the airplanes with hand sanitizers and wipes, uh, wiping down the airplanes a lot. Um, the only problem with uh, not having many people on an airplane is it costs a lot to fly an airplane. So they're canceling a lot of flights. Uh, I looked at my uh, departure board last night and it showed uh, 36 canceled flights for last night. That was just in the evening. Um, my flight got canceled tonight that I'm supposed to fly. And then I uh, have one more flight uh, for this month. And, you know, if I end up going on that flight, it'll be the last one I fly till at least May. So uh, as far as April's concerned, it's kind of still up in the air. Normally you bid your, normally I would bid my April schedule on March 10th. And as of right now, uh, we still don't have a schedule, and April's only a couple days away. So the company gave us a few options. One, we can bid a reserve schedule. So what that means is basically we're going to be sitting around by our phones, and when uh, trips come in, the company will call us and assign us flights as they have them. And you just kind of get what you get. Uh, the other option is to take uh, leave of absence, and they're offering uh, two types. A company paid leave of absence, meaning uh, my company will pay us about half of what we'd normally make just to take the month of April off. Or you can take unpaid leave for up to three months. I chose to take the uh, company paid leave and looks like it's just for the month of April, but uh, it could possibly extend even longer depending on how April goes. A couple other things I notice is uh, just staying at our hotels on the overnights. The hotels are pretty much vacant, and in some cases, they've actually shut down parts of the hotel and just leaving a few rooms open. And uh, I was even told by the front desk that <laughs> the airline crews are the only thing keeping them afloat right now because uh, nobody else is staying there. Now, I know this is hitting every industry pretty hard, but uh, considering the government has restricted travel and gathering in groups, it's uh, hit the airlines uh, really hard. In fact, I already know two airlines that have already closed their doors and I'm not sure if they're ever going to reopen again. So I'm hoping we just hang on just long enough to get through this and uh, back to normal once it does. Whatever that means uh, might be a new normal these days. Uh, time will only tell. All right, so what am I going to be doing on my time off? Well, currently I'm out pruning my vineyard, which is supposed to be done a couple weeks ago, but I'm a little behind. So... I'll be spending the next couple weeks out there until I get that completely done. And then I have a whole lineup of new videos I'm working on. Uh, so I'll be doing that. The first one you can probably expect to see will be how to record high definition underwater video uh, for your fishing videos. So if you're at all interested in how to do that, I highly recommend that video as I analyze pretty much all your options. And I go out on the ice and show you some real world comparison between uh, different methods. I'm also working on my camper and I'm in the process of replacing all the canvas on my pop-up and I'll show you how uh, that's done and exactly how much it's going to cost if you plan on replacing your canvas on your camper. Then I'm going to do a battle of the Coleman lanterns. I got an LED, a propane, and a gas lantern. I'll uh, weigh the pros and cons there and do some testing to see which one I like best. And that's just for starters. I got a whole lineup of videos I'm uh, getting ready to make 
And of course, as soon as this uh, ice finally thaws off the lake, I'll be getting on the lake and making some fishing videos too. All right, everybody, wherever you are, I hope you're staying safe. I'll be seeing you soon. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to leave you with a few clips of my younger years having some fun in an airplane. All right, everyone, have a good day. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that mean it's going? Zlin, 242 kilo kilo. And there, okay, flight safety mechanics. Hopefully they fix this thing right. Does this thing have any squawks? Uh, you make me dizzy. Stunt masters. <laughs> Here you go. There's Mr. Randy. Hey. Professor. Spinning. And he is going to video. There's Andrew McFarlane, stunt master, as he calls himself. Okay, but uh, I am still grasshopper. And here's our plane. Okay. It's a nice sunrise. Starting. It's early, early in the morning. <laughs>